Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I thought I would do a cleaning tips video because I do a lot of speed cleaning and quick tidying with your kids around tips on my other channel as well. And I thought it would be kind of fun to include it more parenting centered than even those videos are. Um, you can feel free to check them out on my other channel. It's linked on my homepage here on my wholesome feed. Um, and it's just a lot of you know, great how to clean your bathroom with natural uh, ingredients that you can make yourself, um, how to mop your floor with your little monkey, how to get them to help, how to just pick up toys really quickly, and you know, just follow along kind of let's get inspired and clean videos. Um, but today I want to do kind of my top three tips for faking a clean house. Because we don't always have time to do a super super clean, right? Like our houses get messy. I realize that my house gets so messy all the time including three minutes after I've done an entire power, like power hour or a two hour clean, I'm still, how did all your toys get out? Oh, I don't know, mommy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't think that Rob the yard dinosaur did it. That's who in our family does naughty things, is Rob the yard dinosaur. Gets up to all sorts of odd shenanigans that would suspiciously make me think my son Abraham did them. Hmm, who would have thought? Does your child have a it's not even an imaginary friend, an imaginary foe that makes messes. I, tell me in the comments, I would love to hear that because my son just invented this yard dinosaur and then he named him Rob and he's Rob the yard dinosaur and he gets up to naughty, naughty biscotti behavior as I would say. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's do our first, I was gonna do one but then I went, oh, well, that's two. Wow, you can tell I've slept in the last four years. Let's do our first tip of our three ways to, uh-huh, fake a clean house. Fake it till you make it. I don't generally support faking things, but I feel like sometimes you just want to sort of have a vaguely clean interior so that people can come over and then they can leave and you can be like, oh, my house is still a total dump, but it's okay. <laughs> so number one is put all the toys in bins. Buy, you can buy bins at the dollar store, at the grocery store, you can buy them online. Ikea has good prices as well. Fabric bins that go in cubby holes or fabric um, baskets and containers that you can just toss them all in, line them up against a wall or pick them in a bookcase and just throw them in. You aren't organizing them, you aren't cleaning them up, you're just kind of getting them out of the way and you can get them back, you can organize them. Every couple months I try to organize the toys. Um, but just put them in bins, put all the toys away and you will be amazed as a parent. I'm always shocked how much cleaner the house looks just doing that, just tossing them all in a container or two. And I go, oh, wow, it doesn't look like a lab of diabolical elves and toys blew up in my house. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so that is, that seems so simple, but oh my God, um, just go to the store, grab a couple of these tubs and you just throw things in and it makes a huge difference. And it helps me, I know, you know, when I get anxiety and stressed out about being in a messy space, it doesn't help my son. My son is three, right? He doesn't really understand the mommy needs to clean house thing. Um, so it lowers my stress level, which lowers my son's. And that I think makes us all so much happier. There's less tantrums from either of us, you know? It makes a big difference. So it's okay to give yourself permission to feel like I just need toys gone for a moment. I need that clear space to feel better and the tubs, the fabric bins make a huge difference. So it's okay, it's okay to have that need and it's also okay to realize that your children can't meet that need yet and neither can you, you don't have time. It's okay to just toss things in the bin. It's not gonna ruin anybody's childhood. They come right back out again instantly, I have noticed. Okay, number two. Boop, boop, mom. What if I have a little tip? Maybe I get some free TV? Not anymore, now you have to have like digital rabbit ears. What is a digital rabbit? <laughs> Number two is to just wipe down surfaces. Wipe down your coffee table, your dining table, your kitchen counters, you know, wipe down maybe your entertainment system. Wipe it down, don't pay attention to the floor, right? You don't need to sweep, you don't need to mop, um, you don't need to scrub the baseboards before people come over. It's okay, you don't need to vacuum, just, and I don't mean like, I'm gonna scrub it with toothbrush. Grab a diaper wipe and wipe down some surfaces. It makes a huge difference in faking a clean house, it really does. You're like, okay, this works. It doesn't need to pass the whole white glove test, right? Just diaper wipe everywhere, boom. You're done. It's easy, it's simple. You probably have diaper wipes on hand. If not, buy them in bulk. This is my advice, I mean it. 
I buy them in bulk and I use them for everything. I use them when we go camping. I use them on my son's tushy. I use them to clean things. I use them all the time. I use them to clean toys. They're amazing. They're wonderful. Sometimes I'll clean our feet with them after we go to the beach or if we get all muddy. They're a miracle substance. They are. I like to buy the ones at Costco with the Tencel, the Kirkland brand. Those are my favorites. So pro tip. Not sponsored, but hey, Costco, if you'd like to sponsor this video, feel free. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to number three. Three. Oh, look, I can count. I'm trying to teach my son to count and it's very entertaining because he likes he likes to count in sets of three, but it tends to go two, five, three, ready, go! And I just think that's really adorable. <laughs> Okay, I've gotten distracted from number three, but we can refocus because we are parents and we can multitask. We can be like, oh, cute, adorable story. Oh, what was I doing? Oh, shiny things, which leads us to number three. Have a well-lit room. So if you really want to fake a clean house, good lighting is key, right? And you might think to yourself, oh, I should like turn down the lights so people can't see the mess. Turn on all the lights, open blinds, make sure it's beautifully lit, like let the sunlight in, or if you live where I live where the sun doesn't like to shine six months out of the year, turn on lots of lights. It will make it sparkly and beautiful and bright, and it really does make your house look bigger and clear. Um, so I know, counterintuitive, but that really does help. So that's one of my top tips for faking your clean house, is just turn on the lights. Don't let it look dingy and dark. And you know, you do these three things, and your house instantly looks so much tidier. And you haven't swept, you haven't mopped, you haven't folded blankets, you haven't thrown pillows everywhere, you know, you haven't brought in the vacuum in, you haven't done all the windows and the mirrors, and you weren't, you know, cleaning the fridge door, right? You're just wiped down a few surfaces, you've tossed toys in a fabric bin that you have, and you've turned on some lights. And this can all be done in 10 minutes, right? And then you're ready for house guests, and if your house guests comment on your housekeeping, which I will say one of my brothers did, <clears throat> and this was after I'd actually cleaned, but my son's toys were everywhere then maybe you don't get tasty dessert, house guest. Mm -hmm. So just, you know, put out a little platter of brownies that you bought or made and make sure they know it's only for nice house guests. Okay, not really, but I think about that. They do. Because <laughs> I'm passive aggressive. No, I, I, I do. I bring it up later. I'm like, hey, remember when you insulted my cleaning? Oh, did I? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's totally easy. And simple if you can get out of the mindset of it has to be sparkling. Just do a few things. Fake a clean house and then clean it when you're ready and when you aren't feeling pressured. And that's a lot of why I do those speed cleaning and quick clean videos on my other channel is to just inspire us all. Because I know sometimes I'll put on a speed cleaning video and it will help me motivate. I'm just like, the length of this video, I'm going to watch it half, half mindedly and I'm going to clean while I watch it. And it just helps me get motivated and inspired to do it. Um, so I think that's really valuable. And I thought it would be fun then to also do that on here, you know, and give you kind of some more parenting, parenting-esque tips, but for a sake in your tidy house. So until next time, feel free to check out the links in my description box. I would love it if you did that. I list all of my fiction books, my romance writing that I do, which is my other job. And I also list my nonfiction, uh, breastfeeding and gentle parenting guidebook that I wrote. Um, my Instagram is linked and as is my blog article. So until next time, thank you all so much for being a part of the Wholesome Feed family. If you haven't subscribed already, I am Rose Kelly. I'm a mama to my three-year-old son and I do a lot of gentle parenting and breastfeeding and uh, sensory processing disorder tips and hyper high needs kids tips. Um, and that's kind of where I'm coming from is you know, to be kind to yourself and to be kind to your children and to realize that perfection is not the goal a joyful family is, right? Those are what my videos are about. And then I also do my other channel that's more lifestyle and cleaning and haul videos. And uh, we also do a week of over there, which is our weekly life videos. <laughs> so until next time, I will see you all over Instagram and all over here on YouTube.